Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is preference. Preference. Now we're going to pick up right where we left off yesterday and we're just going to jump right in. 1 Kings chapter 22, you want to look at verses 6 through 8, right where we left off yesterday. Then the king of Israel, that's Ahab, gathered the prophets together, about 400 men, and said to them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to fight? Or shall I refrain? So they said, Go up, for the Lord would deliver it into the hand of the king. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not still a prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of him? So the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, There is still one man, Micaiah, the son of Imlah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord. But I hate him because he does not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say such things. Now, the reason I said preference today is our word today is because how often do we do just that? We already have, uh, we know that we don't want to hear from certain people because we know that they're going to tell us what the, what the word of the Lord truly is and not what we want to hear. We see this even in the New Testament as um, uh, the men of God, they're writing, talking about the fact that people were given over to itching ears, right? Whatever they wanted to hear, that's what the preachers and uh, teachers would tell them. But it's not helping any. I mean, you think about it, if you were sick and you went to the uh, went to the doctor and he knew what was wrong with you, but he knew that it was a, a diagnosis of cancer, but he knew that uh, there was a way to treat it, but it was going to be a long, difficult process. And, and he knew that was going to require a lot of work on your part. So instead, uh, you know, you said he knew you didn't want to hear that. So he just told you, no, everything's fine. You just keep living life the way you are. Now, Many of us would say, but no, we want to know. We want to know what we need to do. And we need to know like some health condition that we want to be able to fight. But see, the, the same way works in our day-to-day -day life that if we don't come to the Lord with a, a an earnest desire to, to hear from him, an earnest desire to hear what he would have us to do, then we're kind of playing the same game of, of, of preference of picking and choosing what we'd rather hear. No, I'd rather hear the good news. Now you think about it, this is 400 prophets. Now, they're ones that claim to be, apparently, a, a prophets of God, um, or at least there's some type of prophets. Uh, you had the 450 prophets of Baal that Elijah had fought off uh, and killed. So now the other prophets that are here that have still grow, grown up and, and in this area and, and are, it, it's amazing with, hearing all that had happened through Elijah, even in King Ahab's time, right? That all these prophets would still essentially spit in the face of God. Now, we also know that they don't say, thus says the Lord. They just, ah, well, you know what? Yeah, I think you can go ahead and, and the Lord will be with you. Maybe they're ones that, as we'll talk about a little bit, uh, probably tomorrow, that it's amazing that they still decided to tell the king what he wanted to hear. But I also love the fact that Jehoshaphat picked up very quickly. He said, wait a minute. Don't we have a prophet of the Lord? Don't we have a prophet of Yahweh? Don't we have one who is still seeking after the one true God? Now, maybe it was, you know, obvious that they didn't. Maybe it was just because it was uh, so many overwhelmingly in favor of this evil king. I, I, it's amazing that Jehoshaphat knew right away that the word wasn't from the Lord, that they were false prophets. See, I think at that same time, when we're in tune with the Lord, we know that even when a bunch of people tell us something that sounds great, we can tell if it's not from the Lord. Because sometimes the word of the Lord is hard. Sometimes the, the challenge he is giving us is just that. It's a challenge. It's not a cakewalk. But we don't need to pick and choose which one we'll take. What we need to choose to take is exactly what the Lord would have for us to do. That's why yesterday we said we need to pause and see if it's the Lord's will. 
Today, we need to prefer not the good or the bad. We just need to prefer the word of God. God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.